Okay, I thought I'd quickly just jump on and show you how to actually make a the Not Wedding website. Uh, so you just want to go into the start now and you're just going to pick a design. It doesn't really matter what the design is because you can change it later on. So just pick any for the moment. And then you want to put in your details and an email. And then set your URL. Then it's going to ask you a few different um, questions. You don't have to answer them. They are handy to put on uh, the website, such as your wedding date. Now, the Knot isn't just a wedding website. It also has a lot of different offers and vendors, so you can have a look through them. A lot of them are more American-based. Um, so if you are in America, that's great. If you're like me and from Australia, it wasn't really a handy feature. Okay, so now we're behind the scenes and you just want to go through each of these little sections. So here this is the cover photo that will go at the front of the page. So I've just picked one of these photos uh, just for an example. And then you have all these different options of what you can do. Now you can have this visible so anyone on the web can search it or you can have it where you can send a link. Um, so you can really change that privacy uh, to whatever you would like. And it will ask you quite a few questions at the top. A lot of them are just for a survey purpose, but some actually will give you tips on those things. And then uh, you can make a registry and a guest list. Uh, the registry is really handy. We This is the thing we mainly utilize from the website. However, it was pretty tricky for guests to first work out. So I made a whole separate video for the guests. As I've said, so many questions for them on how do they... Um, put purchased on the website uh, so if you're interested with that I'll leave that in the description box below uh, but it has heaps of great features and a lot of them are also just tools you can use that don't have to go on your website such as the budgeter so this here you can just add um, all your different costs for every possible different um, activity or um, vendor and it's just going to help you keep that budget and you can keep up to date with how much you've paid there's also checklists uh, from what you need to get done by a certain time. Uh, so it's got a lot of great wedding planning um, features as well as the website itself. So I thought I'll show you what my one looked like. I did a very basic one. I would change it all the time, but this is what it turned out in the end. So it had the proposal photos. It had details on the engagement party before the engagement, but then I took them down. And um, then it had the registry. So this is what it looks like. And someone can click on an item and it will take it directly to the website. Um, but yeah, this is when you can tell something has been purchased. You can tell how many a person wants. Um, so for some of my items, especially smaller things, I asked for a couple of them. So you could buy one and just tick off. You've only got one of them.